Welcome back. Thanks for joining this video. In this video, we're going to continue with the news app. The second part of building the news app. Last video, look up here. We start building the news app. We continue looking at the categories. We're gonna bu start building a category. So we have the scroll bar and from the scroll bar, we're gonna click on it and we're gonna get a category. Which has then in the category, for example, science, news, there's other uh, healthcare, there's a number of categories we had last time. When I click on it, it loads then the, um, the news items for that particular category. And that will then show it on the screen and it will slowly navigate based on a timer to the next article, to the next article, to the next article. So let's st start building this. Create the variables. You can really see the app variables, and categories and news items. That's not what I'm gonna do. I'm going to create some page variables. I'm going to create one called item index and explain later where I'm going to use this for. It's a number and I'm going to put it to zero. Then the next one I'm going to create is a, a table, which is called items. So it's a list and it's an object or so a list with number of objects in there. And that will be two. One is them called index, and the other one is called percentage. So, and I remove the ID. So we have index, and all of them are numbers. So all of them are set to numbers, and then the last one is percentage. And again, this would be a number two, L zero, every word zero. We'll save that one for the page. So what I, if I click on my main menu or on the menu, on, on the first page, and then I have the categories on the top, I click on the categories and it sends the category over to this page. So how do I get that category? I say category, get the, and then the last thing is is my data variables again I'll take this one I call this one one it's a um, collection of data records I, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna load multiple records in there I'm not gonna load them during here i'm going to control myself on my own page load so similar idea but I have more i like it when it's everything together so i can see them data configuration and what we'd like to do is instead of static ones i actually want to set them during my um i want to modify them during during um when i read them so i'm just going to go and move this one to static so it actually is I, I don't want to fill this one in, so I'll just say US. So every time it's default to US in case, but for the rest, um, I can now use them. So it's the same here, static. I don't want to do anything here. I'll make this one static also. And the same with categories, it's the same one. So leave them F, it's optional. So this is like this now. I'll save it. We open, we're going to add some logic. So we have page focused and page mounted. In this case, I'm going to use um, page focus. So every time the page opens, not when it's created, when it's opened, I would like to do something. So the first thing I want to check if I actually have a category, if I sent a category over from the previous page, just to make sure it's not empty. So I look for the page parameters, I look for category, 
I want to make sure that is not empty. So that means not equal, so not, so this will be empty. So that's step number one. Step number two, I'm gonna read now the collection. So we'll take the collection of the countries. I'm gonna set it just to US as it is here now. And for the categories, I am gonna take the data variables. I'm gonna take the page parameter and the category. So I'm gonna put a filter in on what I, what I get. And the first thing I'm gonna filter on categories. I only wanna have a category of them. So yeah. So only the category, if I select health, only health, if I select sports, only sports, I want to have. And then the result of that, I would like to store in a data variable. So we'll take the output, we'll put it in here. So that's the one, that's the only one we have, so that's easy. And then we would link it and we can do this. So get back to the collection, get back to the collection. And we save so now we have linked the two together so if it's not empty go and get it and then store it in this variable add the variable um, to our designs so the thing so this is the um, page parameter which is the category we use uh, general for example press save so that's not a variable for the category and then for the image I'm gonna use a function for this I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna look for my data variables I am gonna look for my image this way is I I take now the first the first image of the data being from, from the table I have this little table and I take the, the first one. What I want to do also, I want to do because I only want to show not a whole, all of the items, I want to show one page. So in this one also, I have a page variables which controls which one I take, which is called item index. So you press save, we use that one, that's fine. This nice picture of this man. Then in the headline, I do a similar approach. So again, I use a formula and I'm gonna go to data variables. I'm gonna take the one, what is called title. Gonna remove this. And then I'll take the item, which is page variable. And what is the, yeah. So in this case it's zero. So we'll take the first title. Here takes the first title, and that's what you can now see has this little text here. And then the last thing is the title, and now the last thing is the text. And again, it's the, sa the same similar idea formula data variables, it's the internal, it's called an internal table, it's a table. And I'm again, I'm going to take again the description, which is this one here. I'm going to take that one, and I'll take a variable and that variable is the one what comes from page variables and that's which is now zero and then again you see here and now we can see the text on top of it yeah and then I do one thing when I click on this whole thing, I am gonna go to the next special, I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna say open URL, um, URL, so in this case, and then it will open, install this one, so I use open URL. I so when I click on there, it will open the URL. So which will open, uh, URL will be open again. Similar idea. 
again here I will then use again my data variables URL which is here can then this one and I will then again use my page variables and the first one I will use this one and we'll save we'll save we go now to the main page to the front page and we can link now when we, and we link the category with the next page so we click on category we then go to core open page we then take category and we open it in a module window that means it comes in on an ios comes from the bottom and then you can see the category parameters what i need, need to fill now so what do i fill with that's what the data repeat current and which is a description which is and we press save now make sure that the close button actually closes the window also so we open we put it on the container so we have a bit more space to click on if it's so small and then we say navigation back and save again let me show it how it looks then in the in the app so these are the categories on the top and just let's let's select the sports and there we go and that's you get your title this is the first one there's multiple ones but this is the first one and we then press the x and go back again and the other one for example science i don't think there's anything science there health That's how you then can technology and this is how we then look through okay this was the second part of the news app in the next video i will complete the build thanks for watching if you like this video please cl click the like button down below if you want to see more of this video please subscribe to my channel it's really appreciated thanks for watching again and stay curious